Hey guys, I went to Target and picked up the carousel for my machine and yeah, so today is pretty much, um, I'm actually going to clean some more. I know I said I was going to do a planner thing, but I think I'll just save that for tomorrow, even though it's kind of late for the week to be doing like a planner thing, but hey. You win some, you lose some. I'm not gonna be doing much like vlogging around today, but I will have a clip of my like first impressions taste test of my nature box that I received in the mail. So I hope you enjoy that and I will see you in the next video. Bye guys. All right guys, so some really exciting stuff and I got a really exciting package in the mail. Um, or UPS or something. I don't know. I got it though. It is, let's see if I can do this without showing you my address because that would be no bueno. Nature box. Ah, oh, so excited. Love the nature box. Um, this is actually my first nature box. I'm saying I love it because I've seen it before and it looked like a really great idea. Being ruthless with the box. Okay, I'm hoping I didn't show you my address. So, I'm really excited. Okay, so some you can get like a tester box or something like that, or you can buy like something where they package like their best sellers for you or whatnot. Um, but I'm a really picky eater, so I felt like it was best if I just chose my snacks myself and these are like healthier snacks um some of them are um at least they're like they have i guess okay let me just read you this for a second it says at nature box we believe snacking can be part of a well-balanced lifestyle which is why we deliver a world of hand-picked unique and nutritionist approved foods right to your door made from wholesome ingredients and no added stuff like artificial sweeteners flavors or colors we make snacking deliciously fun and naturally easy. So that is their little like mission. Um, so I got some apple and cinnamon. Oh, let me just go through it with you. Okay. Well, I guess I accidentally ordered two of everything except for one. Huh. Oh, well. okay. So I got these Nature Box Honey Dijon pretzels. That's what they look like. Um, in here, this bag is five ounces. Oh, yeah. No, I didn't order two, but it was like ten ounces, so they'd send you like two bags, which is five ounces each. So, let me just rip this white, white open, right open. And let's just take a sample. Oh my gosh, guys, these are so good. So good. So again, here's what they are. Um, if you sign up, it's like $5 per month um, for a subscription. And then uh, anything over $25 is free shipping. So, yeah, I will leave the link down to Nature Box below if you want to go check out the site and see if you like anything or not or if you just want to go check it out um these are really good i'm actually gonna get a drink though because i'm kind of thirsty so a really excited oh really excited for these snacks yes so the honey dijon pretzels definitely definitely recommend them Okay, let me put you there. So we have those. And then I got uh, these sourdough cheddar pretzels. You guys, I love pretzels. I just do, I just love them. So we're just gonna try one of those.
really good. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Okay, so the honey, the, like honey Dijon pretzels, they're really good. I usually like Snyder's of Hanover, like the their like cheddar pretzel bits and their honey mustard bits. These are really good. These taste. I feel like I used to eat something like these that weren't like little bits and like pieces and stuff like the Snyder's ones are, but they're like this whole like little bite sized ones, um, like nuggets. And it tastes very familiar to them. I can't really describe things. I'm really bad at describing them. All I know is that they're very yummy. So I suggest these to you. I think my favorite ones though out of these two are the honey ones. Or the, yeah, the Honey Dijon ones. Those are really good. So there's that. I did decide to try out these um, apple and cinnamon oatmeal. So I just got one of them. Here it is. So that'll be good for a quick breakfast. And then I got uh, these mini Belgian waffles. I've heard nothing but good things about these little waffles, like these waffle snacks. So let's just try those out. What these, people have said these taste really like the waffles. I don't agree. Um, they taste kind of biscuity almost. They're good. They're just not what I thought they were going to taste like. So this one it says, searching for a comforting breakfasty snack. These mini Belgian waffles are made in the European tradition and offer a cookie like crunch. Even better, this bite-sized snack offers vanilla, sweet, buttery flavor without the guilt. Enjoy them with a freshly brewed cup or of breakfast tea and a smile. Mmm. I don't like kind of. Let me just taste another one for you. All for the name of science, right? Oh, they taste like something and I can't put my name on it. But it almost, it's a little bit, yeah, it's a little bit dense, a little bit has like a slight biscuity taste to it. I can't put my name on it, but um, it's not, I think, as, I thought it was going to be more like a crunch. And it does kind of crunchy, but it's not like a, like a snap, like a cookie, you snap it in half. Um, kind of a crunch kind of a thing. I don't know, it's really hard to explain, but it's good. Um, I like the pretzels better. I'm more of a salty over sweet person. So, I think these will be good. Um, they're not too, too sweet. So, I'm a person who doesn't like, like, super sweet things. So, I think these will be good when I'm craving something a little sweet. So, yeah. And then, finally, I got the dried mango. They had dried pineapple. Um, but... I really like mango, so I'm hoping these will taste good. So you get four pieces in a serving, zero grams of fat, it's 29 carbs, and two grams of protein. So this would be good for like, I don't know, if I haven't had that many carbs that day. So let's see. So this, these are what like they look like. I've never had dried mango before. So let me see. It does taste like a dried mango. Exactly what it exactly what it sounds like. Dried mango. There's a little bit of tang, like tartness to it. It's good. I like it. If I'm making these faces faces, it's just because either I already had a vision of what it might taste like in my head or I had like an idea. And it didn't taste like that, but it's still good. But I'm just like, oh. So it's not that I don't like it. It's just, 
my taste buds need to get used to the new flavor that it tastes like instead of my idea of the flavor that I thought it would taste like. Yeah. <laughs> Just tear right into that mango. I think, if I'm brutally honest, the one thing that I think I was disappointed in um, were the mini Belgian waffles. I just had a total, I don't know, idea of what they would taste like. People said they taste really good. I think they're good. Uh, would I order them again? Mm, I'm not quite sure. But they're good for like a not so sweet, like overly sweet snack. So, I will enjoy them. I just think out of everything, this one was the biggest surprise for me. And I don't know if I would purchase it again, but we'll just have to see. Maybe they'll grow on me. But that's just my brutally honest opinion. So, that was great. Oh my gosh, though. The pretzels, the pretzels, guys. And the mango, even were like exactly as I thought they would be and they're super good. Ugh, the pretzels, go get yourself some pretzels. Yes. So this is my end of my little, I guess, first impressions taste test. What will it taste like? Mm. Mm. I also have a Gray's box coming. Now Mm, let me finish this first. Oh, the pretzels are so good. You guys, I have to have another pretzel. The Honey Dijon ones, I will re be repurchasing these. Most definitely. And the cheddar ones, too. And the mango, I think. The consensus is Honey Mustard Pretzels, boom. Uh, well, it's honey Dijon pretzels. Boom. Cheddar pretzels. Boom. Dried mango. Good. What else? Oatmeal. Haven't tried it yet. Mini Belgian waffles. Mmm. Eh. I'm only saying eh, not because they're not good, just because I was kind of disappointed in them. Like, they didn't taste how I wanted them to taste, I guess. Which, so, I guess, it's me, not them. Yeah, it doesn't say the prices on them. But, that was a fun little taste test. When I get my Gray's box in, I will taste some of that stuff as well. I'll also try to get Brave and, uh, uh try some new stuff out for you. And even this box, this box is made from recycled materials. We love saving it to collect cards or magazines. How will you reuse your nature box? I'm going to recycle it because I really don't need another box lying around. So, it's a good thing that it's recyclable. Okay. Well, that'll end this little taste testing portion of the vlog. Yeah, go back to what you were doing and... I'll see you in a little bit. I basically just turned the camera on because this came and I was like, hooray! So, that's the deal. Tomorrow, what are we going to do tomorrow? I might just end tonight, right now. Um, tomorrow, we are actually going to stay home. I might try to film like a plan with me time lapse like to music kind of a video with one of my planners. Maybe my happy planner. There's something else I have to do and I can't remember what it is. Finish my laundry. Yes, I know it's like day five of that. Actually, okay, so we're gonna try to film a Play With Me and Tom Ask Music, the, that kind of jazz video. We are also, but that is going to be after I go to Target because <laughs> when I was at Kohl's, I, I had told you I was going to go there to get some K cups and a carousel for them for my Keurig. Yeah, well, guess what? I walked out with a whole bag full of stuff, none of it of which I actually went to for. So, we are going to actually just go up to Target because at my Target they were restocking the, um, like, dollar spot. So, I need to go check there again. And while I'm there, I will go and see if they have the carousel for 
my Keurig and see if they have some Keurig cups. If not, then I may make a quick trip down to Kohl's and actually go in and get what I need. And yeah, so that is the plan. And um, then we'll see what else we can get up to. I think that's it. <laughs> okay, awkward pause. Uh, all right, let's stop being awkward. Have a good night, and I'll see you tomorrow morning.